yes, they do want the vaccine. Most of them do want it. You know, uh, they've seen a, there's been Eagle Pass has been one of the hot spots. So yeah, they're desperate for for the vaccine. The lack of access to the internet. All right, uh, especially the vulnerable, the elderly. Uh, they don't have transportation either. They don't have providers because the providers are afraid to get contaminated. Many of them don't have phones. Okay, so it's hard for them to, to get access when the vaccine comes available. That's the main barriers for, for them is, is the lack of, you know, internet access, transportation. One of the things that should, could be done is really to go out where they're at you know, have either like a mobile unit or something in their communities, because there are several communities where, again, they don't have transportation and, and all this good stuff, so they can't get out. And many of them, what I understand is, is they're hard at hearing and hard at seeing because of their age. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. When it became available to me, uh, I, I knew that it didn't just protect me, but it would protect those around me, and especially as a pastor, you know, for the congregation and then my kids and my family. So I thought it was important for me to do that. You need to trust the vaccine. You need to trust the scientists because we've had in the past epidemics where the vaccine has cure, you know, like polio and, and missiles and all, you know, so you need to just trust and go for it because again, you're not just protecting yourself, you're protecting your loved ones. Jesus commandment when he, he was asked, which is the greatest commandment, you know, in the law, Jesus said, well, love God you know, with all your heart, your mind and soul. And so, and then the second one is like this, to love your neighbor as yourself. So you need to also not just love yourself, but love your neighbor. And when you do this, that's what you're actually doing. You're loving not only yourself, but your neighbor. I would just like to encourage, you know, I, I can't emphasize that enough to, to take the vaccine and, and, you know, trust it. If you need to pray about it, pray about it, but trust God and trust the vaccine and just do it. Just do it for yourself and for your loved ones.